everyone and welcome to my youtube channel the ultrasound for beginners since this is my very first video you may anticipate that i'll be explaining the foundations of ultrasound in my future videos as a result i'll give you a brief overview to this medical modality in my first video but of course don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and as well as hit the notification bell for my future videos so let's begin in essence this is the ultrasound control panel or the area with the essential knobs and buttons are located this is the switch for on and off and then this is the display screen on which your acquired pictures or images are shown. The various ultrasonic transducers are connected to the machine's CPU through these ports. Different information can also be shown on the display screen or the monitor. It includes the mechanical and thermal index values, the kind of probe used, and the frequencies associated with it, and any other relevant details. Including the patient's name, identification number, and the facility. Once again, this is the on and off switch. And these are the sliders control for time gain compensation or TGC. So this is utilized to modify the brightness of your image according to the depth and ultrasound beam's penetration. These other controls include those for screen trapezoidal form, Doppler reversal, and adjustment of your beam size. These knob and buttons are for your pulse wave, continuous wave, and a mode selection. These are the buttons essential in vascular studies. So we have here the color Doppler imaging, power Doppler, tissue Doppler imaging, and superb microvascular imaging. And these are the common buttons that we are using. We have here the button for body marker, text or annotation, the caliper in measuring structures, set, and the XYZ uh, used for rotating your image especially if you are doing 4D scans. So these are the knobs for power output, depth adjustment, and for zooming your images. Basically, this is your 2D or the B-mode knob that is used to adjust the overall brightness of your image. Um, the controls or the buttons to split the screen or to utilize the four quadrants is also located here. The freeze button and for storing your images to your machine. The majority of machines nowadays have touch screens where you can also find other controls and details about the ultrasound modality that are essential for obtaining high quality images for diagnostic purposes. This includes the selection of probe or transducer, the frame rate, adjustment of precision, the decibels, and as well as for your focus adjustment. And of course, we have the ultrasound transducers. In my next video, I will be teaching you the different types of transducers, their uses with regards to the different parts of the body and different examination. I hope you find this video useful and I will see you again next time for more relevant videos about ultrasound. Till next time, bye!